Hello, welcome to another video on using Smartsheet. I was inspired to make this video by a poster on the Smartsheet community. And they were asking, how do you make a custom auto increment field? Um, and the particular parameters are that it needs to have uh, two letters at the beginning and three digits at the end. And it starts at AA001. And after getting to AA999, it'll then roll to AB001. And uh, continue until the first letter uh, eventually reaches Z. Uh, the maximum that it, this would increment will be ZZ999. So go ahead and show you real quick if I put a few entries in. Um, you can see. It starts incrementing. Um, and I can just simulate real quick uh, what it looks like with some other combinations. See, it goes from uh, AY999 to AZ001. And here we go from YZ999 to ZA001. So you get the idea here, what we're trying to do. Um, now I'll go ahead and uh, talk about how this is done. Um, first of all, uh, to make the example a little clearer, I've created a column with the uh, maximum three digit value that's going to be in this. Um, ID field. Um, you know, if you're making this in your own uh, application, you know, you may not, you, you're probably not going to have a column like this. Um, if anything, you may create this as a summary field, um, but most likely this is not something you're going to want to change, so you would um, hard code it into your formulas. But I wanted to show this for um, simplicity of this example, make it a little easier and show that you can change the values. For example, if I only wanted this to go to 100, you know, it could go from AA100 to AB001. Um, so I just wanted to show that this, uh, this solution is applicable to various applications. So, okay. So how do we how do we create this this auto increment ID? Um, um, the 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 first column here, first letter is um it's actually 65. It's not it's not A. The reason why is 65 is the ASCII value for um, the capital letter A, um, and similarly for the second letter. It's 65, and our our formula will um, convert this number to the letter. Um, the reason why we're using letters or numbers here instead of letters is because it's easy to increment these in formulas. Okay. Now you you probably noticed I had this set to negative two initially, um, and the reason why is these first three rows are what I call seed rows. Um, and the reason why you need these seed rows is because, um, you know, as you know, Smartsheet needs um, two rows um, before another row, before it will start auto-filling formulas. And this this first row doesn't have formulas in every column, but these, these second two rows do have formulas in every column. And so, those are the formulas that I want to continue to auto fill down as more entries are made. So that's why I need three rows to see this sheet for the ID. Um, and I start at negative two. So that way, when my first entry comes in, it'll be the correct ID of AA001. Um, now, if you wanted your first ID to be zero, then you would put this to negative uh, three. And it would start at zero. So. Okay. 
So what do the formulas look like? Um, they're a little bit complex, but they're not too bad. Um, in our first row, um, I'll start here with our three-digit number um, because this is this is the only formula that's used in the first row other than the ID here. So there's actually two formulas in the first row. Um, and the way this is calculated is um, it's taking the um, the remainder of dividing this three-digit number, negative two, um, by the maximum three-digit value. Um, so if you divide negative two by 999, you, you're left over with the remainder of negative two. Um, now, this formula also checks to see if the um, increment is in, in this uh, number increment column is zero. Uh, because if it's zero, we want to display zero. Um, and the reason why that's important is um, when you have a number, say, 999, um, and you, you divide 999 by 999, the remainder will be zero. And so that's why this formula says, you know, if that division uh, results in a remainder of zero, then you want to automatically um, assign a three-digit number as the maximum three-digit value. Um, in this case, it's 999. So, um, I, I know these formulas are a little bit confusing for video format, so I'll be um, I'll be posting these in the description of the video, so that way you can you can uh, see them in print and uh, analyze them a little better. But in a nutshell, in order to generate your three-digit number, um, there's, there's a series of if statements. First, it checks if this number increment is zero. If it is, then it places zero. Um, and, and really, that's only going to be true in one case um, as part of the seed row. But um, it, we need to have it there, so that way it, it displays zero at the appropriate place. Um, if the division has a remainder of zero, then in the three-digit number column, we're going to automatically place the maximum number. And so, real quick, if you're if you're not using this um, column where you can change the maximum three-digit value, then you would just write in a hard-coded uh, maximum three-digit value. Okay, and so. If, if the remainder is not zero, then it reports the actual remainder. So if the remainder is one, it places a one. If it's two, it places a two. Okay. Now, going on to our um, number increment column. This has a formula and it simply looks at the preceding cell and adds one to it. And this just gets copied down as rows are added. Um, our, our second letter formula um, looks at the previous value in the cell above it, as well as what the value is of this three-digit number in the previous row. Um, and the reason why is we need to know when to increment this second letter. So in this case, um, with the three-digit number preceding being 999, um, we want to ensure that this rolls to the next letter of B in the ID, which is a capital B and represented by ASCII value 65. Um, and if it doesn't meet that condition, 
then it simply takes the previous um, ASCII value from the previous row and places it here. So as we're going back to our original settings, see so how 65 the whole way down. OK. Um, our first letter is very similar, except that it, it also looks at the second letter here, as well as the uh, three-digit number in the previous row, because it, it, it also needs a know when to roll increment to the next number. Um, so I'll show you what that looks like. Um, Z is represented by 90. And so you can see here in the second row, um, we have AZ999. And on the third row, it automatically increments to BA001, which is what we want. OK. Um, now, in order to build our, our actual ID, uh, value here. This is where we get into converting the ASCII values to characters. So this this is a uh, pretty straightforward in that it takes uh, uses the SmartSheet character function, and the SmartSheet character function takes an input of an ASCII value in this case the first letter number sixty five and converts that to the letter A in our ID. Um, and then we use the plus sign to concatenate um, another letter, which is the second letter, and it uses that same character formula here. Okay. Now, to uh, make the three-digit uh, portion of the ID, we need to take a look at the length of, of the uh, number in this three-digit number column. And so I have a series of if statements. So it checks the length. If the length is 1, then it adds a 0, 0 to whatever this number is here. If the length is 2, it adds 1, 0, and then pulls in the two digits. If this three-digit number is already three digits, then it just simply pulls over that number because it's already three digits. So the purpose of these if statements is to uh, prepend uh, zeros to that number in the case where it's not already three numbers. Okay. So I hope this is um, helpful. Um, if you were going to use this in an actual application, um, you may not uh, put these seed rows in your actual sheet. Um, you can if you wanted to, if, if that was OK in your application. Um, the way that I do it in my own um, uh, process workflow that I have where I generate IDs is I have a separate sheet where I I generate these IDs like this and then pull them back to the actual uh, master sheet where I'm using that information. So, um, hope this was helpful. Uh, again, I'll, I'll put these formulas in the description. And uh, I hope you have fun trying to implement this in your application. Um, if you like this video, uh, please subscribe, uh, like it. Um, if you have suggestions on how to do this better, go ahead and write it in the comments. Have a good day.